All right, what up, dude? We're gonna be tearing my baby down here. Some painting on this thing. I'm gonna get some really good quality paint. And I got uh, my compressor all set up, and I got a nice developless paint gun. We're gonna paint a couple things with some good quality clear coat and see how it holds up. Maybe the frame, maybe the swing arm, maybe the hubs. So, yeah, let's start uh, tearing this thing down. Now for the fun part. I always go through and loosen them with the wrench a little bit. They're like super tight when you first try to take them off for whatever reason. And then I just kind of go through with the impact gun. Alrighty. All right, dudes. We're all uh, we're all done tearing her down. So I got all the parts on the table. Got the hubs, triple clamps. Thinking about, I don't know. I'm thinking about doing the swing arm, but I might hold off on that. See how the paint holds up. But yeah. So we'll start with those two things, and that should give her a little pop, you know. We're back at it. I'm gonna uh, do a test on this hub. I got the rear hub here all sanded up, ready to go. So let's start mixing some paint. I got epoxy primer made just for aluminum. One part reducer. And 
one part activator. Alrighty, now, I think it's still pretty warm. We're gonna give her a quick wipe down. <laughs> I guess we're pretty much ready to spray. Boy, this stuff is super thick. Use the activator. And the reducer we'll put right in the paint thingy. Stir it around. Put it in there. Mix it up good. Put this in the paint gun. Alrighty. Wow, that was a scary choice of milk. Alright, I'm gonna go dry it off. So far, the paint is agreeing with the epoxy primer I'm using. Peace, North Star. The primer was very expensive. And this, I don't remember the brand, but uh, it's a really good brand of paint. That's the, uh, act the hardener activator for the paint. Got some good finish one reducer. That's the activator for the primer slash epoxy. And that's the activator for the clear coat that I'm gonna use. Test piece is done. It's nice and dry. Not a single drop or scratch or anything. The thing is looking gorgeous. So we're gonna hit it with some clear coat and see if it uh, reacts. Doesn't take much. All right, so we're almost finished up here. This has gotta be the trickiest thing I've ever done. Never paint in cold weather. I mean, I'm bringing it downstairs and warming it up. Keep, try to keep the metal warm. But anyway, we just gotta hit these with some clear coat, and then we'll be good to go. Now to the basement we go. They're all cured up and uh, starting to lay some right now. All right, what's up YouTube? So we got the back wheel done. Like I said, I wasn't gonna show you guys the process of this because honestly, it's pretty boring. It's pretty simple, but uh, one thing to keep in mind, the, uh, the inner spokes on the back wheel are longer than the outer spokes on both sides. So just keep that in mind. There's two different lengths of spokes. One's, one, you know, one set is longer, one set is shorter. And the long ones go on the inside, shorter ones go on the outside. Just keep that in mind and uh yeah next we gotta true it but uh so far it looks good now i'm gonna do the front wheel and uh the front wheel they are all the same size spokes i believe you know it's pretty much the same you know they're the same length on each side on this one so but they're a little bit different on the back hub so alrighty, we'll see you guys once we get done here all right, we got the wheels all laced up, and uh, I got pretty lucky, man. There is like hardly any a 
one for down or side to side play on this. Now we're gonna check the up and down play. We got one little spot right there. Right there. So we're gonna tighten those spokes up and then she'll be good to go. Alright, now it's time to change the tire. Alright, we got one down. Man, so far, looking good for these triple clamps. Wow, dude, this wheel was so bad. I don't know why, but like, it was like, wow, 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 when I spun it. I got her perfect now. Alright, so we got the front tire on. It's all looking good. I'm going to start getting some plastics on. I put the rear fender on the rear tire. So now we're going to do a little time lapse. 